Welcome to the Ambetter from Magnolia Health Podcast, where we bring you information on Ambetter Health Insurance and give you tools you can use to build a healthier life. Ambetter is health insurance available on the health insurance marketplace. I'm your host, Becky Martin, with Ambetter from Magnolia Health. Health insurance is complicated. To sell health insurance, a broker must take at least one course and memorize a four-inch thick textbook to pass an exam and get their license. They also have to keep that license up by getting a certain number of continuing education hours and reapply for that license every two years. When we shop for health insurance, most of us just want to know how much our premium will cost. But there are so many unfamiliar terms, it's easy to throw our hands up in frustration. In this episode of the Ambetter from Magnolia Health podcast, I will give you the top 10 terms you need to know when you shop for health insurance on the health insurance marketplace. And the great thing is, no textbooks are required. Let's start with the term health insurance marketplace. The health insurance marketplace is a service that helps people shop for and enroll in health insurance. The federal government operates the health insurance marketplace, and you can find it by going to healthcare.gov. If you go to enroll.ambetterhealth.com, you can enroll from that platform as well. The health insurance marketplace is also known as the marketplace or exchange. Typically, the marketplace is for people with no insurance. People with employer-based insurance who pay over 9.78% of their household income on health insurance premiums can also shop the marketplace. Open enrollment. Open enrollment is a period of time each year when you can sign up for health insurance or change your plan. For the health insurance marketplace, this period is very short. It's from November 1st through December 15th. Suppose you don't sign up for health insurance during open enrollment. In that case, you probably can't sign up for health insurance on the health insurance marketplace until the next open enrollment period unless you experience a qualifying life event. A qualifying life event is a change in your life that can make you eligible for a special enrollment period. These changes can include getting married, having a baby, losing your job, etc. A qualifying life event allows you to shop on the health insurance marketplace for health insurance outside of the yearly open enrollment period. I mentioned premium earlier. Let's define that. A premium is the amount of money a person pays an insurance company. You have to make this premium payment each month to have insurance when you need it. The cost varies by person and is determined by your income level. That means what you claim when you file your income taxes. When you shop on the health insurance marketplace, you'll fill out an application. The site will provide you with a selection of plans based on the level of coverage you indicated you need, plus the amount of subsidy you might qualify for in order to help you pay for that insurance. I just mentioned subsidy, so let's talk about what a subsidy is. If your income is between 100 and 400 percent of the federal poverty level, you may receive a subsidy in the form of an Advanced Premium Tax Credit, or APTC. The APTC is a tax credit you can take in advance to lower your monthly health insurance payment or premium. When you apply for health insurance on the health insurance marketplace, you estimate your expected income for the year. If you qualify for a premium tax credit based on your estimate, you can use any amount of the credit in advance to lower your premium. Many folks who make between 138 and 250 percent of the federal poverty level who purchase a silver plan, that's the Ambetter Balanced Care Plan, pay nothing for their premium because of this subsidy. What is the federal poverty level? The federal poverty level is a measure of income, and it's issued every year by the Department of Health and Human Services, HHS. The federal poverty level is used to determine your eligibility for certain programs and benefits, and this includes savings on marketplace health insurance and Medicaid and CHIP coverage. For example, for 2020, you are at 100% of the federal poverty level if you're single and you make $12,760 a year, if you're married, family of two, 
with a household income of $17,240 a year, or if you are a family of four with a household income of $26,200 a year. If your income starts around any of those amounts, you may qualify for a subsidy to help pay for your health insurance on the health insurance marketplace. You can find a health insurance marketplace calculator that will estimate your subsidy at the Kaiser Family Foundation. That's www.kff.org backslash interactive backslash subsidy dash calculator. Out-of-pocket costs. Out-of-pocket expenses refer to the costs that individuals pay out of their own cash reserves. It's your share of the health insurance costs, including money spent on deductibles, co-pays, and co-insurance. Preventive services like immunizations and annual wellness screenings are provided to you at no cost with a health insurance marketplace plan. Out-of-pocket maximum limit. The most you have to pay for covered services in a year. After you spend this amount on deductibles, co-payments, and co-insurance for in-network care and services, your health plan pays 100% of the cost of covered benefits. This doesn't apply to your monthly premiums. Anything you spend for services your plan doesn't cover, out-of-network care and services, or costs above the allowed amount for a service that a provider may charge. Deductible. A deductible is the amount you pay for covered health care services before your insurance plan starts to pay. For example, with a $2,000 deductible, you pay the first $2,000 of covered services yourself. After you pay this deductible, you usually pay only a co-payment or co-insurance for covered services. Co-payment. A co-payment is a fixed amount, $20 for example, you pay for a covered health care service after you've paid your deductible. Let's say your health insurance plan's allowable cost for a doctor's visit is $100. Your copayment for a doctor visit is $20. If you've paid your deductible, you pay $20, usually at the time of your visit. If you haven't met your deductible, you pay $100, the full allowable amount for a visit. Copayments, sometimes called copays, can vary for different services within the same plan like drugs, lab tests, and specialist visits. Generally, plans with lower monthly premiums have higher copayments. Plans with higher monthly premiums usually have lower copayments. Coinsurance. This is the amount you pay to share the cost of covered services after you pay your deductible. The coinsurance rate is usually a percentage. For example, if the insurance company pays 80% of the claim, you pay the remaining balance of 20%. Now, what's the difference between copayments and coinsurance? A copay is a set rate you pay for prescriptions, doctor visits, and other types of care. Coinsurance is the percentage of costs you pay after you've met your deductible. A deductible is the set amount you pay for medical services and prescriptions before your coinsurance kicks in. Now that we've completed the vocabulary portion of this episode, we'll start the exam. Gotcha. I wouldn't do that to you. If you need help navigating the health insurance marketplace, it's completely free to talk to one of our Mississippi and Better Health Insurance brokers. All you have to do is go to our website ambetter.magnoliahealthplan.com. Click on Plans and Enrollment and then scroll down to Find a Broker. From there, you'll enter your zip code or your city and you can look up a broker who lives near you. Thank you for joining us for the Ambetter from Magnolia Health podcast. You can find this episode on our website, ambetter.magnoliahealthplan.com. Remember to like Magnolia Health on Facebook and subscribe to Magnolia Health on YouTube to check for details on the next podcast. Ambetter from Magnolia is underwritten by Ambetter of Magnolia, Inc., which is a qualified health plan insurer in the Mississippi health insurance marketplace. Ambetter of Magnolia, Inc. complies with applicable federal civil rights laws and does not discriminate on the basis of race, color, national origin, age, disability, or sex. This is a solicitation for insurance. Copyright 2020. Ambetter of Magnolia, Inc. All rights reserved.